So about two years ago, um, I noticed some discomfort that was related to another ailment, and um, you wanted to examine me, so you brought in some tests, and you decided that it would be an option to go in there and provide this new surgery if I was amicable enough. And I thought that, hey, it's a good idea, I've got this problem, and I really don't want to be taking a whole bunch of pills um, as a solution to that ailment. And you basically went back and did a motility test and said, yes, I can see that there's a need to um, basically go back and redo this surgery. I think my first was, um, it was uncomfortable, um, particularly in the esophagus and the chest region. I think for about two months I felt uh, irritation, but it gradually went from surgery to very gradually better to, I don't know what day it disappeared. Uh, we went ahead and I thought that even though the manuals sort of say, yes, don't drink so much coffee, don't drink um, alcohol, um, stay away from chocolate. I thought, well, you know, hey, I feel cured, I feel better, I can return to some of these things. And I found that I was deteriorating um, and had to go back for a second venture uh, with you on the Strata. Now I've taken it a lot more seriously. I've virtually eliminated chocolate. Um, the most important thing I think I did was um, cut back on almost everything that was bad for me the first two months. And gradually, you know, now that it's been several months later, I ate, like last night, I had a beer. I didn't have reflux and I'm feeling much better for it. I would say that about eight months after the first one, I could feel there was some, some slippage, but I really was probably in denial. It wasn't until you, we did the second one and I really cranked down and I said, you know what, I'm going to go to herbal tea, for example, for at night. It didn't bother me that I put the beer away. It more bothered me that I needed to accomplish not having GERD. That change of life, by the third month, I was feeling significantly better. And I've been feeling pretty good ever since. I think as we discussed, and we've had a number of conversations on this, there is a partnership between the physician um, and the, the, the patient in this realm. You can read as much as you like, but unless the patient is jumping in and saying, you know what, I'm really going to change my lifestyle, you cannot expect 100% success. So you really got to listen to what the physician is telling you and moderate your habits. And I would say the first two months, you gotta be very, very strict on your habits in order to um, get any success.